Yeah, it doesn't matter. Someone's feeling ballsy because he's got three teammates. Imagine like sure it took his time for someone in a firefight. Yep. If this was like a shittier game, it's like uh, if this was a shitty game, you eventually you would have like five people. They'll all be close up, huddled up next to you, Ow! and the guys will still not see you. Yeah, they made a mechanic in this game to where your allies can't be detected or like. But, which is good. It's just at the same time. They kind of break the frame a little bit, though. Yeah. When, they, when they're just, like, right in front of them. You know, Jacob doesn't know what immersion's like. How? I was like, you never, like, might completely, like, zone in. And you're like, no, I'm just playing a game. I was like, never? What? I've never had that before. I've never heard anybody that just, just doesn't feel it feeling the game. Like, he likes playing the games and, like, he enjoys them, but I was, like, talking about immersion. I was like, yeah, it breaks my immersion. He's like, I've never had immersion. And I was like, <laughs> that's that's funny. And he went, not really. I was like, oh. Mm -hmm. I, think the, I think the one that has the best immersion, like, UI-wise, was um, the Tomb Raider, like, reboot. I haven't played that yet. I, think like, I have it. I just have it, to it. It is just because it still has that survival aspect to it. It's just that it's so boring in the in the beginning parts. I heard it, it takes a while to get in. Yeah, because the right, boss battle is shitty. It's like geez, because when, when you first get dropped in, you're just kind of there, hoping that something happens. But you have that fight it yourself. Yeah, apparently this uh, this next game is her actually becoming a Tomb Which Raider. is stupid to me. I Didn't they say that with the other two? Yep. It's a story about how she becomes a Tomb Raider. Apparently this one, what they said, ends with her becoming a Tomb Raider. Yep. And I was like... Man, that's so stupid to me. Like, well, it fucking better. That, it's, it's stupid. I'm, I'm more or less like, it, the yeah. first game should have been the one where she's actually becoming a Tomb Raider, and then the second game should be just her going and doing the Tomb Raiding stuff. There will now be as many games about her becoming a Tomb Raider than her actually being a Tomb Raider. Yes. Yeah. Because, like, I don't think they're ever going to try to go back to be her being Tomb Raider because that means, like... Uh, oh, no, they're not going back. Yeah, they're never going to, like, either... Not even going to aesthetically change her in... <laughs> he looked at him, talked to him, and walked away. <laughs> like, oh, hey, what's up, dude? Yeah, uh, as I was saying, like... Um, they're, not, they're never gonna aesthetically change her either. Like, to, to be more like the Tomb Raider. Because they're not gonna make any more Tomb Raider games. Yeah, that, that's, that's the last one. This this next one is gonna be like the end of the origin and the end of the series, I'm pretty sure. Yeah. Unless they make some like weird spin-off. Play or they two. really mess up and, and decide to make Tomb Raider games. I'm making another one. I don't know if I'm gonna good. What if they do, like, a gritty retelling of the one where she shot dinosaurs in the face? Oh, my God. I really hope not. I'm like, like, like she looks she looks like uh, like she's a stone face all the time and no no uh, self-aware humor or wit. Yeah. It's just like... I did like the... Uh, I saw, like, a thing the other day, and it was a picture of Nathan Drake and a picture of... Uh, oh, what is her name? Laura Croft. Mm -hmm. And it was like... Both are the most famous Tomb Raiders in video games. It's like... Both completely fuck the tombs they find. Yes. <laughs> it's like Nathan Drake think, has destroyed three mythical cities. I think I think Nathan Drake is worse than Laura Croft because yeah, he's destroyed cities and tombs. And it's like Laura Croft has found an endangered or an extinct species and made it re-extinct. <laughs> Are you talking about the dinosaurs? Yeah. Oh yeah. Uh, and she's destroyed every tomb she's raided. Yes. <laughs> I used to really like the Tomb Raider series when I was a kid. Yeah, I don't know how I'm going to do this. Cause I don't have really have that much stuff for Molotovs, and I think they're pretty smart about. Because Molotovs. like, um, I don't know how they play now for the Tomb Raider games. Yeah, I remember playing the PC version of them. Uh, probably if you played them now after playing Uncharted, they probably feel pretty dated. Yeah. But the new Tomb Raiders are trying to like mimic Uncharted, so. Yeah. You know what's really interesting? Like, how how, how Tomb Raider aesthetically has changed. Like, uh, compare, like the, if you, a good example would be, like, the movies. Like, the Tomb Raider reboot. Oh, God damn. Sorry, go ahead. Like, the Tomb Raider reboot, like, um, 
just became... Damn. Your luck ran out. I know. Yeah, you, I was doing so good, too. I was I was actually surprised that I got those kills off. Yeah. Like, I wasn't surprised at the first one. <laughs> you didn't know you were there. Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm way back here. Okay. I would try doing the stealthy approach this time. But the thing is, I don't like stealthy approach. Actually, I don't have really have that much to do stealthy approach. How you doing? You have shivs? I have shivs, but they don't, they really don't work that well with these guys. That's why I usually just kind of get behind him and try to choke him out so I don't have to use my shivs. Okay, now he's actually closer than actual ever. I'm just going to use the pistol, because the pistol actually feels a lot better. Yeah, But no, I like what they did with Uncharted uh, Lost Legacies. Mm-hmm. But at the same time, it's pretty clear. Kind of? Like, they left it to where you they could make another game, but they probably won't. Which is probably for the best. Because they could just move on to a new thing before milking Uncharted's characters. Yeah. Yeah. I got money for that? dollars for taking out 100 people in total with your bare hands. Really? Pretty sure that's what that challenge was. Nice. I didn't know I could actually do that. So, as I was saying, back onto the... Apparently there's a clicker coming through, too. Back onto the... Did I kill them? I don't know. Sorry, go ahead. Back on the aesthetics, like, they're polar opposites, essentially, even though they're the same genre. Yeah, because she's more, like, over the top. Yeah. And he's more... I'm talking about, like, the Tomb Raider series as a well. whole. Like... Oh, her series versus his series? Like, like Tomb Raider, like, between her reboot series and the original series. Oh, no, they're a complete antithesis. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so, yeah, there's, there's a clicker coming through somewhere. Yeah, it's just like, uh... Tomb Raider's about empowering women. Rise of the Tomb Raider, she's pretty whiny. Yeah. Yeah. Is whiny somehow, like, her, her, like, kill animations are very gory. Because, like... Yeah. Because, she's got that no finesse. Yes. Because like to to be um to be honest, like uh I imagine they were trying to really hard to make uh try to make uh, Tomb Raider more legitimate or what they think was legitimate at the time. Yeah. And try to make her more gritty. In which Tomb Raider isn't really gritty. It's supposed to be uh fun in action in action game, not just Uncharted slash Last Last of Us gameplay. Yeah, that's true. Like the first game ever you play Tomb Raider, you're shooting at you're shooting at dinosaurs with with two handguns, which is amazing. You see? And like, um, oh, I'm clicker. Okay. And I imagine like, uh, essentially like Tomb Raider, like Lara Croft, like. Um, was more like a chill person to be around, like an adventurer. Lord Rob, no, she's a thrill seeker. She's rich. She doesn't need to do it. She just wants to do it. Yeah, that's what I meant. She's not chill. Like um, I, 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 it feels. She's not chill. No, no, no. She <laughs> has no chill. I'm just trying to figure out like what the, like I'm just. I think I'm just confusing the feeling of watching the movies and playing a little bit of the games. It just feels chill to play. Yeah, like, games are so different from the actual, like, her actual personality. Yeah, because, like, um, yeah, because she is a thrill seeker. She is, like, an adventurer, and she's just rich. I think the movie actually depicted her a lot better than really the game did. Yeah. And it did have James Bond in it. Oh, yeah, actually, yeah. Right underneath her noses. I'm a fucking boss. Let's go. Oh wait, I don't want to do that right underneath him. What the fuck? <laughs> Let's say you're just gonna full on do this, huh? I'm just full on be ballsy about that shit. Um, I can't see shit right now. You're about as ballsy right then as I am in a fucking Was Dark Souls, where I'm like, I'm gonna do it. So I think, my thing is the game is letting me do this. I just don't know where to go at this point. I think I'm supposed to go up here, but I just need somebody to actually help me up. Or you just be right there like a little bastard. Ba bastard? Like a bastard, yes. 
Uh, I don't know where to go, actually. Yeah, but today, me and Words are not really friends right now. I'm just horrible. I'm literally underneath their noses right now. I don't know where to go at this point. There's only two more guys here. Dragon Song. Oh, danger level 50. Go back up. Go back up. Back up, back up, back up. Oh shit, the area I'm in is danger level 45. What are you? Back up, back up. Ooh, what you gonna do now? This is 28. That is not good. This is definitely not good. I need to uh, be careful. Um, be ready to run away. Just uh, keep rolling, rolling, rolling. What? I didn't even know you guys just jumped down. What the fuck? I was swinging wildly. I didn't know where he was going. Oh god. Uh, you're uh, doing pretty good there. Just uh, uh put some elbow, elbow grease in their faces and uh, you just keep swinging. Just keep swinging. Oh god. You are dying. Oh. Cause missing. I, I pressed the button and then they jumped down and I didn't realize they jumped down. So like two people were already on top of us. Uh. So later I was like, I don't know what's going on right now, guys. <laughs> yeah, because, like, um, oh, yeah, back on to, like, uh, Last of Us as a series. Like, I never thought I was, was going to play it because it's a PlayStation exclusive. You don't like PlayStation, or you just didn't have one? I just didn't have one. I just have, I like, I stuck to Xbox uh, once the 360 came out and some Nintendo game and Nintendo consoles. You, like handhelds. You picked a losing battle. Yes, I did. But not for the 360. It did. It did pretty well. The thing is, my thing was is like they they have they have a good library of games. They just don't have any like really good exclusives. Yeah, good exclusives. Like good. Early on, it wise. did. Early on, it did. I would say. But it didn't have any lasting. Oh, that was an insta kill. That was. That was bad. Because oh, I will bring up. I will bring up Halo, but. It sort of just no. died. It just sort of just died. I would not give that to Halo. Halo's Halo. Halo has died off itself. Even when 360 was there, I I could see where it was going. It'll it died. I think Halo it, killed itself. Yes. Because I think it died for me once Reach was done. And Halo Three was like the the zenith of the game. I like Reach. I never played Reach. I just play. I played the numbered games. That was it. Reach is my favorite one. Yeah. That's, I think it's everybody's favorite one, actually. It's it good. Is. I, I, I really love, I think I think the best thing about Halo was the multiplayer and uh, the Forge mode. Yeah, which is why when uh, Bungie went their separate ways with Microsoft, they uh, they did an online game. Called Destiny? Yeah, that was all about multiplayer. And I think uh, it's pretty much dead now. Destiny? Yeah. Yeah, Destiny. It's dead, Destiny. You know, those jokes are typically my thing, but I wouldn't have touched that one. <laughs> Would not have touched it. Okay. Cool. Not with a 10 foot pole? Not with a 10 foot pole. Need you to come through here or not? And that works out too. Just don't. Like so, how, so how is it to own a cat? Is it perfect? No. Oh, that's that's so sandbagged. <laughs> just like, mm. damn, I'm so bad at. That's just a hard hit. Like oh, on just. I uh, very like quickly passed on that. Yeah. Help me with this thing. Me. I didn't think he'd get you. I mean, neither actually. He looked like he was having trouble doing things in general. Yeah. Yeah, I mean. So back on to uh, Tomb Raider, uh, like, uh, I, I mean, I am glad that it 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 became it was a thing. I don't really look bad, look hey. negatively hey. towards it. I'm glad it happened, hey. like when it did. It there? I just uh, probably wish it just stayed lying. Uh, lie, lie down a little bit, just take a break. I don't know, it, it, it was, it was, 
It was like a freight train. It was going. It was going to keep going until something made it stop. And it yeah. actually it made itself stop because the cash stopped flowing. Yeah, because like it, it wasn't fitting with the times. Probably. I think no. It just they kept doing cliffhangers. For the Tomb Raider series? I'm talking about Halo. I thought you were supposed to talk about Halo. I was talking about Tomb Raider. Well, Tomb Raider, uh, they just... That, I... I think it just stopped... It, it, uh, it didn't live with the times. Oh, cool. Uh, I'm glad he actually just, like, bypassed me. It's, sort, it's just sort of like, um, games are changing and Tomb Raider couldn't survive. But that's just my armchair... That's why a lot of gun -fu games now can't really survive that well. Yeah. Which one, uh, what would be considered Kung Fu? Uh, well, Tomb Raider. Yeah. Uh, oh, yeah. Um, I have one in my room. I think it's called Stranglehold, which is a game actually made by John Woo. Yeah. <laughs> uh, oh, yes. I remember that. I kept playing on, like, buying it at one point, but no, it, it looked so bad. Yeah, because it's based on a uh, hard -boiled. Yep. I think you play as uh, Agent Tequila. Yep. Which I love that that is his name. Like, his legal name is Tequila. Yeah, because uh, Gun Fu is... Tequila, sorry. Gun Fu is very... of its time. I mean, don't get me wrong, I love over-the-top Gun Fu bullshit. Yeah. It's good. It's just that... Uh, it's been played out by Max Payne and uh, the Matrix games and all that. Oh, yeah. yeah. Alright, so there's gonna be a shootout. So. Because right now it's sort of like every game is sort of like uh, gumbo. A mixture of everything. Right. When it comes to AAA games. Yeah. Because, like, uh, I think Best Friends play. They uh, come. Um, they put up. Um, they made a good example of, like, God of War. The, the, new, the, the new God of War is just a gumbo game. It has everything in it. Like, for, like, uh, I can't remember what the explanation is, but it made sense. Hmm. It's just like, they're just mixing everything they can. A game that's a mat like a jack of all trades, but doesn't do any of it well. Uh, <laughs> not well, it's just, it's just like, it's great. It's good for what it is. It isn't a master in it. At anything that it's doing. Yeah. Because it focused on a lot of things. But the story's great. I will say that. I don't know about gameplay. I did. Like, personally. What game? You got War. The reboot. The reboot? The pseudo reboot. Uh, the God of War 4 that they're trying yeah. to class off. I would say some of the story aspects kind of could have been better before we got. Yeah, it actually was a pretty decent game. How long have you been stuck at this area? It was my fourth time going through it. It's just that I had to do it different ways. Because right now, if I had a brick, it would, it would be no problem. It's just I don't have anything to actually do. Like, yeah, they're, they're really time. nerfing you with, with no brick access. It, it's stupid. I don't like it. Because really, usually guns in this game are kind of just like not uh, good. The what? The game aren't good? The guns. Oh, yeah. It's supposed to be survival. And pop over real quick. Because if guns were good in this game, like, uh, and obstacles wouldn't goodbye. matter. Next up. Or enemies. Enemies wouldn't matter. <coughs> oh, yeah. I want you I want you to come over this table. Motherfucker. Thank you. Oh, bastard. You bastard. God bless. So yeah, nothing. See. What's another genre that hasn't been done in a while? Like, but like it was really popular back then. Uh, Call of Duty. The the point and click adventures. Yeah. Oh yeah. yeah. I hate I hate when they try to port it to consoles. I think it's gonna be good. I mean, they still play the same, but they don't work that well. Yeah, because they're made for mouse and keyboard. They're not made for uh, controllers. Yeah, so you make your character walk up to it, but then you're like, I'm not know. quite there. Yeah. 
The only one that really like went over well was Monkey Island. Yeah, that's just because the writing saved it. The writing saved it, and uh, everything was in a place where Guybrush could reach it. Oh yeah, with a controller. And that's I think that's about it actually. That's everybody. So thank God for tables. All right, so let me just heal myself up real quick. Oh, yeah, yeah, I don't understand why I would use this guy to investigate people when the other guy can do it for free and not fail or hurt my reputation if he fails. Oh yeah, I know I know what genre I'm thinking. Uh, that was really popular, but it's not really popular now. What? Uh, kart racers. Mario Kart's going strong, dude. I, I know, it's it. still going strong, but there's no competition anymore. Yeah, because all the people who try to like uh, make up to it didn't work. Yeah. I still have Super Bomb Bad Racing. I think it's only one of the few ones that actually... Is that the like. Crash Bandicoot series? No, Super Bomb Bad Racing is a... Uh, Star Wars. Star Wars one. Oh, yeah. It's the one with the big heads. The big head, yeah. Apparently, somehow, people really like that one. When I first saw it, I didn't like it at all. When I first saw it, I didn't like it. But I, my parents got it for me, and I played it, and it's fun as shit. Like, it doesn't look like it would be fun, and it doesn't look like it would be good, but it's actually really fun. Yeah. Ah, dick! Yeah, uh, but I know that, I heard that Crash Team Racing was actually a really good, uh, Crash Team Racing and Qu Crash Tag Team Racing were both good to me. Yeah. A lot of people didn't like Tag Check Team, because you could cheese it yeah. really easily. My thing was, it, it that, that was the one where I, where I was like, they're really going Mario, full Mario Kart with this one. With Tag Team? Yeah, because it was just Double Dash. Sam, let's go. But you could detach and right, okay, come on. The best part about it is, uh, you team up with a computer, they don't detach them. Yeah. And so you can take over their whole car, use them, and then right before you finish, if you detach, you end up in front of their car. Really? Right before the finish line. You can detach, win. Well, damn. Okay, we gotta get them up. I guess one crash game that I think I hated and everybody really hated. It was the one where you could actually take over like these huge monsters. Oh, uh, I forget what it's called though. It it was it was really bad. I missed. Yeah, at one point I think Jesse was like, "Ah, oh, this is where we get separated." <laughs> yep. Yeah. Nope. It was really cool to see like certain games to come back like as a small reboot. Just like put one up, and it would be like uh, I nominate uh, Ape Escape. They uh they have Ape Escape on PS4. And they do actually. I'm not planning on getting it because it's still a pretty bad. Uh, All they did was like kind of updated slightly. It's, it's still a collectathon. It's not really that good. I don't like those games, but I mostly like the gadgets. Oh yeah. So they're taking their They were videos. done really well because you could access the whole game, but there were certain gadgets that let you get past other things. Yeah. Um, kind of like a old school Zelda, where like the whole map is accessible to you, but you can't do certain things without certain items. Yeah. Donkey Kong. T I wish I could play Donkey Kong. Oh, bastard! Again, like but more updated. Just a uh, graphical update and uh, fixes. Whoop. And some minor fixes that change the gameplay a little bit. Yeah, there's all those people that want to play uh, Banjo Kazooie remastered, and they're like, "That's not happening, guys." Yeah, that's never happening. Rare is dead. Mostly. Yeah. Ow! Even their like the only thing that's ever really successful right now, well, I would consider successful. Oh, get down, please. Like, is um, Joel. <laughs> it's not even their property anymore. It's uh, the Killer Instinct series. It's not really that successful. It was during uh, uh, like it was like when the reboot happened. I mean that one game was successful, but it was like a very short-lived success. Yeah. I would like to try to get the the what was, the definitive edition where it has se oh, the season three characters. Oh, it's like some random like hodgepodge people. Like I, I have season one and two. I just want to get the rest of it because I want to get Rash from Battletoads. Also, I want to get Battletoads, the the reboot series, or the I don't know if it's a reboot or not. 
because Battletoads like had a bunch of games but it was in like in such a short span within each other that they burnt out I just feel like if they're gonna I just feel like they shouldn't just go go back to like old games just to get people interested in, in the company anymore yeah cause a lot of them just try to play on nostalgia now yeah cause I'm saying I'm like guys Cause right, cause especially for like the Switch, Switch is really doing that pretty bad. The heavy nostalgia. Yeah. Which granted, the Switch, Switch as a console, beautiful. It's way better than Wii U. It's just that there's some things where I I don't need another port of a game that was on another console that was actually pretty decent. Oh, uh, examples. Uh, Donkey Kong, Tropic Freeze, um, Mario. A lot of people didn't get the Wii U. That's yeah. why they ported all this. Yeah. But at the same time, like that's they're doing what they did with the Wii U. They're porting again. And I, just, I feel like for the Switch, yes, it will work just because people yeah, a lot of people didn't get the actual Wii U. But at the same time, why do this now? You're literally just do, doing the same thing you're doing with the Wii U. Granted, your your launch titles were amazing. And I'll give you that. They're they're like the Wild or and uh, Mario Odyssey. Yeah, those were are like two of the strongest in their series. And I was like, that is actually really that's like, those games actually submitted them. And I was like, okay, cool guys, like your games are going impressive. Yes, because like if I had to like if I had to like say it, I think that the Wii U is like the the Switch is just Wii U two. Yeah, that's, that's what the Wii U just the Switch or just the Wii two. The Wii two, <laughs> wouldn't it though? I just, I, I honestly like with with what's going on with it. I'll have to say yes, because they're doing the same thing they they did with the Wii U to the Switch. They're they're porting a lot of their yeah. uh, famous games over to it, yeah, just so people can actually play it. While they're like waiting for other games to be made, but they're not sort of not telling us about the other games they're being. Made. Yes, Which except, for, except, except for Smash. <laughs> That's the only thing that really. Like, guys, I understand Smash is coming. I love Smash. Can I know about the new games? No. <laughs> Because, like, Octopad, I read everything I could about it because I wanted to know about it because it was a Switch. You know what I mean? Yeah. Square was like a Switch game. Also, I'm pretty sure... Uh... Fucking, uh... Turn-based RPGs are dying out, too. They are. They really are. That's why, um... And a lot of the action RPGs are dying, too. They are. I hate that, too. Yeah, I don't like action RPGs. My thing is like they're they're trying they're trying to get them back with like the switch. The switch was supposed to be like the restoration of other games, but I think the Fire Emblem game might fail if the writing's not on point. Oh, this new one? Yeah. And that would kill the series. Yes, they, it would it would die with this one, and I would hate that. Even though I do not like the game mechanics, I love the story and I love the world that they do. Yeah. Yeah, because uh, it was actually originally going to die. Which one? Oh, yeah. Fire Emblem. Fire Emblem. Yeah. Because Awakening was their last chance. They did a whole bunch of stuff. They were like, you know what? We were going to do these with some of the other games, but we may not get a chance to. Yeah. So they did all this extra shit, and it did well. And they're like, oh, yeah! yeah thank you, guys. Now we can do uh, Conquest, Henry, Fate, and uh, whatever the other one was. It was just Fate for the, all three of them. Oh, right? Okay. Because it was Birthright, Conquest, and Revelation. Really, they are the same one. Everything's fine. And they're in Fire Emblem Warriors. Like, I hope y'all like that, guys. And as that immediately got. That's that's the one game where I was just like, I know that Fire Emblem may may be a hit or miss for me, but Fire Emblem Awakening is a game that I really want. You had a good chance of making it, and you did. Coming back for you would put him at risk. Stay back. If it was the other way around, would you have come back for us? I saved you. No, you didn't. He saved me too. Did he really, though? He really didn't. Yeah, they just, he pulled him out of the water. That's all he did. Yeah. I mean, you would have died, yes. But at the same time, he he puts you in that situation. Yeah. Okay. He's the reason you almost died, though. Yeah. So it's not really... It's like, I saved you from that bullet wound I created. <laughs> yeah. It's like, you owe me. You shouldn't have shot me. Like you shouldn't have really done anything except for just like us being a team. That radio tower's on the other side of this cliff. Okay, place is gonna be full of supplies. Gonna be really. Oh, did you hear that? Um, 
like, uh, who's the guy, uh, Ryan Johnson, apparently, like, uh, he deleted tw um, 20,000 tweets uh, recently, like, after James Gunn got fired. Oh, really? Yeah. 